What's up, YouTube? Here are gonna now bring another battle. This battle is going to be against uh, Sun Vet. That's I think that's his name. Let's see the team that I have. I have my Magnetric, that will be my Mega. I have my Metacross. I have my Scissor. I have Venusaur, Terrakion, and Volcanion. And on his side, he has the Medichan, Vidri, that will be Mega, Noivern, Alamomola, Sorork, and Amungus. Amungus and Alamomola, that would be a really good mix. A really good, I don't know, say them well because those Pokemon are really pain in the ass. Actually, it's a really pain in the ass. I'm gonna send my Mega, my Monetric will be my first Pokemon, and Beedrill will be his. Uh, Mega evolved my Pokemon in the first turn uh, with Intimidate ability, and well, he gonna actually Mega evolve the, uh, his Pokemon as well. And I thought that we, I thought at first that we had the same. The speed tie, the same speed, and I thought that he actually won the speed tie. He goes for the U turn, and actually, I went for the uh, bolt switch. And this is uh, actually, this is a uh, enough, it's not super effective attack. Now, I'm gonna send my scissor, I'm gonna go for the U turn, and he actually is gonna send the Alamomola. U turn is yeah, uh, it's neutral damage against his Pokemon, the damage that I cost is not that great. So I was like, okay, the damage that I cost is kind of really good. So what I'm going to do is using the close combat because it's neutral damage, but it's not enough to kill it. I was so close to kill this Pokemon. I was like, if I kill, I get to kill this Pokemon. It leaves me in really good situation, in good scenario. And, but actually it's not kill, he goes for the skull. I know he's gonna make now he's gonna make a switch because I don't think he's gonna actually let his Pokemon die. And I go for the close combat one more time. And I don't I don't get to kill it. And well I was like, oh shit, I need to make now a switch. I'm gonna have to call my Pokemon and I send my Venusaur. Predicting the actually he's gonna go for sleep powder or I mean powder. Or I mean a spore or any like Giga Drain or Energy Ball, but no, I went for my Venusaur and now I had to make another switch. On the switch, I go for my Volcanion because it's not super effective. It's just a neutral damage and he it didn't do much damage. Now he's gonna make a switch. I actually went for the Air Power and he goes for the Noivern because maybe he was predicting that I go for Stem Eruption or maybe predicting that I go for any fire attack and he goes for the Draco Mirror and that's gonna kill my Pokemon with just one attack and I I think that his Pokemon was a choice pack because well he just one hit KO my Pokemon and now I'm gonna go for the U-turn one more time and he goes for the Alo Momola and I get to kill it and well even though I would be able to go for the sword dance, even I don't know what I, I don't know what I was thinking though, to to be like uh, really honest, and he actually goes for the Alamomola and he goes for protect, and now with my Venusaur, I'm gonna use the C celebrate because now I'm gonna raise all my stats and get to kill. I think, yeah, I wasn't killer, I wasn't thinking right because. If I wouldn't have used my sword dance and then go for the punch, pretty much everything, I think I would have been able to kill every Pokemon. But I was sent, I was actually thinking right. I, I think I was like, uh, all, uh, predicting too much, and uh, my prediction wasn't working on this battle. Even though he's a really good trainer and get to kill my, I get to kill this Pokemon. He's a Mungus with two attack with two sludge bomb. Now he sends. Uh, Medicham using Sandwave, Sand Headbutt being super effective, but uh, thanks to the uh, C Celebrate, a Sludge Bomb doesn't get to kill this Pokemon. And now, this time, actually, I, I win the speed time and I kill it. I kill this Pokemon. He sends now Willy, that will be the Mega uh, Beat Drill, and I go for the Hidden Power. And it's super effective, but it's not enough to kill it. And I kill my Venusaur. So now uh, he's going back to the Pokeball and since Chloe that will be the uh, 
Uh, the Noivern, which I go for my Terrakion. I go for the quick attack. Because I already didn't know if that Pokemon was a Sword Orc or not. But even though, uh, that's why I go for the quick attack. And I don't get to kill it. Now, here. Here, I made another mistake. Because. Uh, I was thinking actually go for the Bolt Switch. But I go for the Thunderbolt. And I actually. I. I don't know. Even though that was a mistake, it doesn't matter though. He, like I said before, he's a really good trainer. And now he's gonna get outspeed my Pokemon. And now this is the time that I, real, I realized that his Pokemon, actually when I check the stats, Mega Beedrill happens to be faster than my Mammonetric, which I thought they had the same speed. That was my bad. And now with my, I'm gonna send my Scissor. I'm a really and really bad, really hard uh, scenario. I kill it. I kill this Pokemon with a uh, with a bullet punch, and he's gonna send the uh, Noivern, and he is a choice specs. I go for the bullet punch one more time, and I don't kill it. This Pokemon, I don't get to kill it. He goes for flamethrower, super effective. And last Pokemon I have is my Metagross. Even though he's a choice specs, I have a minimal chance that my Pokemon can survive the attack even though he's a straight spec because I run the calculation it's a critical hit I don't think it matter at all because maybe because if he causes a maximum damage he can kill my Metagross and that's gonna be the battle against Sandvex so I hope you enjoyed the battle and this is Arcanine and, and you wanna join my discord that will be on the description and well see you next time later and bye